Okay, believers, rise and shine. It's another day the Lord has made. I'm Nathan Wheeler, and we are Yeshua Network. Today's passage is John 12, 24 from Mary. The passage is, Very, verily, verily, I say unto you, except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abides alone. But if it die, it bringeth forth much fruit. She says, this is a verse that the Lord spoke to my heart when I was 21 years old. At a time when I was considering marriage to someone that I was in a relationship with and the direction of my future. At the time, I had no idea what this verse meant and the verse didn't seem to answer my question, or at least it wasn't the kind of answer I was looking for. But many years later, in hindsight, I have a greater understanding of this verse and why it was spoken to me. I had to go through a process that ultimately was intended to lead me to fully giving up my own desires, being willing to lay my life down, fully surrendering to him. When we consider a seed, it has potential, potential to multiply and produce a massive tree, which also contains more seeds within it, each having the potential to create more massive seed bearing trees. So the overall potential of one seed is actually massive. Our lives are like the potential that seed carries, but in order for the potential to actually occur, the seed must first die, be planted in the earth. Many who come before us lay down their lives for the sake of carrying truth into future generations, and they bore much fruit, and we benefit from their obedience in our lives. We are called to grow into maturity to carry that same mantle for the sake of future generations on earth. What we do has a ripple effect, and what we neglect to do also has a big ripple effect. We only have one life to make whatever impact we will make. I posted a fuller testimony on Yeshua Network testimony group page for anyone who would like to read more about my journey. That is awesome, Mary. Thank you for sharing. And yeah, definitely head over to Yeshua Network uh, testimony group page and the prayer pages. I hope that you guys will use those and they will be a blessing onto you. I uh, thank you so much for leaving the comment, Mary, about how this passage spoke to you and how the Lord used it at a specific time in your life and how you grew to understand it more. Uh, this is a great blessing for us to have this insight of others, of what they get and what how the Lord uses scripture to speak to other people. It gives us just a totally new perspective to everything. I hope that these videos bless you. I hope that you will share them. And I hope that you will continue to join us here at Yeshua Network. And don't forget that if you are watching this live, uh, Tuesday uh, is um, EBRT this week because I'll be flying out on Wednesday for a business trip. So I hope that you guys uh, will tune in on Tuesday for EBRT. We're doing the second part of Matthew 15. All right, I'm Nathan Wheeler. We are Yeshua Network. Be blessed and be the blessing.